Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installation. And in today's video, we're gonna be replacing the factory component set in the rear doors of this 2016 Toyota Tundra. Now in this install, we're gonna show you how to remove the factory speakers included in the door panel here and install a mid-range six and a half as well as a tweeter up in the factory location. Let's get started. Now the first thing we need to do is get this panel on off. Before we do so, we're gonna, this panel needs to come off and it's just held on with clips. So you can actually use your fingers. Now one thing to be cautious of, the clips stay in the door. So I like to use a little pick tool to work them on out because you don't want them to fall into the door. And then just put them back in the, the panel here so we don't lose them. For the panel itself, there's usually a plastic cover. This one's missing. Looks like this, probably the owner of the truck had a tint done and the panel didn't get put back on. So um, usually there's a panel here. What we do is get a pick tool, get behind it and pop it on out. Once you do so, it exposes a screw here. Pull the Phillips out. Now down in the grab hold here, you may have a little cover Grab my pick tool and pull out our little carpet piece here. We're gonna have another Phillips screw. Go ahead and pull that guy on out as well. All right, so at this point of time, the rest of the panel are just held on with clips. Now you may or may not have a little clip right here. Um, if you do, all you have to do is push it in and then pull out the housing. All right, so I usually grab the corner here and give it a good tug. Oh, looks like this has not been attached well. Lift on up. Okay, once you do so, so we have a couple of harnesses to disconnect. All right. The handle here is held on with two screws. Go ahead and remove those Phillips and then the handle release comes out itself. Okay, uh, there's our six and a half. Let's go ahead and remove it. You can use a 10 millimeter or a Phillips. Pull it on out. There we are. Okay, so at this point of time, let's head to the bench to show you the parts we need for our new speaker set. All right, so we're here at the bench. Now the parts that we're gonna need for install, first and foremost, are the speakers that we've decided to go with. Uh, these Alpine component set, um, they're the S series, the S, S65C. It's the newest generation based on the date of this video. Um, Alt Alpine component speakers. It comes with a six and a half inch mid-range as well as a one inch, one inch silk dome tweeter. Now to accommodate those in the factory location, we need a bracket adapter. This is the PAC or American International TSB920. Again, you can put a six and a half here or a six and three quarter inch. And wiring wise for the door speaker, we need the Metro wiring harness. And again, we're gonna link everything down in the description here, including their part numbers in case you wanna pick some up yourself. Now to accommodate the tweeter in the factory location, the tweeter is actually in the door panel itself. It's not a separate element. And it actually fits if we pull our tweeter apart, like so, and leave this portion, it actually clips into place. We'll secure it with a little bit of glue, um, but really we don't have to do a whole lot to mount our tweeter. We need to start assembling our speaker. We'll put the speaker into the bracket itself. Now wiring wise, this end will connect to the back of the speaker, one of the sets of terminals. Then the other set of terminals will go through the crossover supplied to our tweeter will mount in the door. So let's get started. Okay, so we got this all mounted here. Now there's no hole in the speaker bracket to allow our harnesses to pass through. So we just drilled our own there passed our wire through. We loomed it with some test tape, just give it a little more protection and connected everything up to the terminals on the back. Now there's a second set of terminals. Those are your speaker outputs for the tweeter. So that's where we will connect our crossover and ultimately the tweeter that will fit in the panel. So we're done with our mid range. Now, side note, these little wingies we don't need in this application, we can break them off. Here's our old tweeter, here's the new tweeter. They're about the same size. This actually will just clip into place, but like I said, we're gonna go ahead and secure it a little bit better with some hot glue. Okay, so we got our tweeter in. It clipped into place, put a little hot glue around the sides just to secure it, but it's not permanent. At this point, we can take our mid-range, as well as our panel with our new tweeter installed, head over to the car and start getting everything reinstalled. 
All right, so at this point, let's reassemble our mid-range. Now our tweeter hooks into our mid-range terminals. So we will feed those through the speaker hole we created, get them connected before we mount everything up. Get those connected, let's go ahead and mount up our mid-range. All right, so got the mid-range all mounted. Good to go, we got our tweeter on the terminals also hooked up and we plugged everything in here so it's getting signal. Now we ran our tweeter wire, mounted our passive crossover for the tweeter just right here. This end will go to the tweeter inputs on the back of the tweeter that's mounted in the door. So it's good to do a chat, a, a test to make sure everything's operational. Once you've done so, let's go ahead and get the door panel back on while making all our connections. All right, that's about it for this install. Now, if you have any questions on what we did here, post a comment below. We also did the front door speakers, as well as a four channel amplifier on this tender. So if you wanna see those videos, we'll have those linked down in the description, as well as a card up above. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to hit that like button if you like what you saw, and don't forget to subscribe. We post great content on the channel all the time, and we will see you in the next video.